Three, two, one. You brought me back, Space Whale. Thank you. That's a lot of question mark events. However, I think I'll probably run out of them by the time I get somewhere meaningful. Energy potion? Headbutt's not bad. Oh, no, is take the health. Like, I just throw away my health really easily on the first floor because that's what it's there for. It's meant to give you an advantage if you can find it. So we'll just take what we can get. There's no other shop, so I'll just see if I can spend something worthwhile now. Smoke bomb is interesting. I will take it. The weird part about doing low run ascensions is that you can kind of just force a build, which is good in that it's like easy, all you, you always kind of know what to look for. But it's bad in that you can just force yourself to take cards that may not actually work out for you, and then it could end up bad. So if the sake of card quality and survival, I'm going to fight an elite. Not for time, because I need to actually get a good card if I want to win. And luckily that attack potion gave me a very good card, so he's almost already dead. Although I did the headbutt in the wrong order, so I could have done that a little more optimally. That should be fine. And that card's actually really good if I can get... That relic's really good if I can get something to work with it, which I don't think I did. I'm not going to take any of those because they're not quite good enough for what I'm looking for. But... Decent. Hesitantly decent start so far. That's what I'll say. We'll break his shield so that'll go away for next turn and then we can just bash him. There's a whirlwind. We're still on guardian again so it, you don't really need whirlwind but with Akabeko, it'll or if it's the first card we play it'll do a lot of damage so we can theoretically get it to be pretty decent and i'll take spot weakness because all we care about is just getting strength i'm gonna double defend here because all i need to hit is that first powered up whirlwind to win it's just about not dying and they just waste a lot of time with all their animations because there's so many of them but yeah one whirlwind to do it oh we got a second smoke bomb we can actually skip combats for days if that's what we want to happen which might not be what we want to have thinking about uppercut because of the weak should be fairly handy so i will take it i'm gonna upgrade the whirlwind base damage it'll do more than upgrading our strength card all right same deal as before we just need to hit him to change phases whenever we want there's three different potential bosses on each of the floors so it's bit of a statistical anomaly we keep seeing this guy instead of our slime friend or the hexaghost but that's not that bad because this guy's easy although it might just be making us face him because I keep on resetting for the relic that's okay put that this back on top so I can get more strength and then I can just smash smash just put that back on top so I can get more of it and then he'll change farms because I broke the threshold just do that get a little bit of block oh a cool thing about this boss is his thorns passive in the defense form isn't actually real thorns damage like real thorns is every time he takes damage he reflects some but this is just when you play an attack so if I play a whirlwind against them I actually don't get punished that hard because he doesn't correctly deal with me for doing it Immolate's good for AoE, but we already have Whirlwind, so we just want an Offering because that'll give us more energy to put into the Whirlwind should we draw it. And then similarly, I don't think- so these are all energy relics, but they all have a drop backside. No more gold, no more resting or curse key. I think I still want to be open to resting, so I'll just forsake gold because I don't think I need it that much. But curse key could have been a good alternative, but I don't like it quite enough to do it in this- here. 
I still have two smoke bombs, so if I see any hallway fights I don't like, I'll probably just leave them immediately for the sake of time. But this one isn't too bad. A third smoke bomb. Guys, are you seeing what I'm seeing? <laughs> That's pretty crazy. I'm going to duplicate the whirlwind. Two whirlwinds in my deck and not one to start off against the birds with. This is so sad. I'll get the thunderclap back. That should wipe them pretty soon. Yeah, that's a fun event. We love the duplication. Although, two upgraded whirlwinds. I don't get one in the first few turns. Come on, speedrunning luck. Come on. A flex for our whirlwind? We have a spot weakness, but redundant strength isn't bad. Snack go, you're too healthy. I'm just gonna dip. Because our deck is pretty good, so we just don't really care about fighting a lot of these. And I can just kind of take optimal pathing, because I can just keep on smoke bombing out. That's really weird. I've never been in this situation before. It's not normal. But I won't complain. That's pretty hilarious. <laughs> just get a hundred smoke bombs? Yeah, it's that easy, guys. Like, it's my sick speedrunning strat. You just skip all the combats. You just menu. You just click on everything. Heavy blade. Nah, I already have all these whirlwinds. Eh, I'll just take it for single targets. It's already upgraded, so... There's no harm. I'll spend my gold because I don't have any reason to do any limit break. You again! I don't think we actually gain strength that fast, so I don't think I care about it. I will take this Eternal Feather because that's just a broken relic and it's exactly the amount of gold we have. <laughs> no skip runner sweats? Yeah, I see you, bro. You know who you are. Gremlin Horn's really good, because then we can just keep getting energy back after killing these guys. Now I'm actually clearing this really healthily, which is very solid. Demon form. Alright, something silly's going on. They just love me this run. Maybe it's because I threw some of those other ones, but they're just trying to get me some a good placing. Yeah, this run's over. Like, the win cons are here. Thunderclap eight, at eight times energy into the whirlwind. Like, what's actually going to happen? Like, what were they expecting? I'll just upgrade all the cards and just keep on getting strength. Because now we can just menu through everything. Like, goodbye, Sneko. I don't care. We don't care about you. Give me the demon form in case the final boss actually needs anything. So now I just strength up, strength up, draw a million cards. I hope they don't steal my- okay, I found my demon form. Yeah, okay. Fight's over, fight's over. Nothing to see here, kids. Unless he takes all my whirlwinds, that'll be kind of annoying. However, what if I just got it back? Okay, I'm actually taking a lot of damage. I don't want to die to this, because that would be very sad considering how great the run's been going so far. So, I will choose not to. You should be charging up for Whirlwind-ish soon. Or his Hyper Beam, rather. 51! Kind of a problem? 
but I'll just grab. Oh, I don't have any attacks in there. Good thing I still don't die, but he had me scared for a second. Limit break again. I feel like that's kind of a bait. I don't know if we even need it. I'm not gonna dilute my deck with such worthless stuff. Aw, oh, Rusted Crown. Great, I don't even need to. I don't even need other cards. So I don't need to have the option. Alright, now we just menu to the end, guys. Let's just go elite dodging. This looks like a lot of question marks. Plex Heavy Blade. Sure. Cultist Potion. I love you, game. Oh, yeah, you take my headbutt. That's definitely as good as Demon Form and Offer. Offer my zero gold for a relic? Guys. <laughs> guys, uh. <laughs> Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? <laughs> I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing. Keep the upgraded upper guy. He did cripple a guy. Yeah. I have so much strength on this first turn, it just keeps on giving it to me. Probably could have done something a bit more optimal. I can take the damage though. Not quite enough, I'll just wait to keep my health. Yeah, we healed a near full, so we're good. Aw, you again! Goodbye. You're not diluting my deck. You're not wasting my time. No more things in question mark rooms, that's amazing. See ya! And another free chest in there. And one of these. Uh, I don't care. Alright, we're menuing pretty fast through this. This is uh, pretty nice. I would try and get the energy, but I'd rather just go for a safe whirlwind kill and not risk them reviving. Because honestly, all I need to do now is just whirlwind. Woohoo! Flex potion, sick. Just menu through the shop. Smith. Alright, final boss. It's Deku and Donu, guys. Kaka! Oh, I messed that up. I had Akabeko ready for my whirlwind, which would have been pretty crazy. But I'll save my flex potion for the second time around. Yeah, it's the Donut Man and the other guy, whoever he is, but Flex Whirlwind, that'll get me into the red zone, so now I just need to finish them off next turn. This guy just buffs, he doesn't defend them, so there it is, time. 13.35, that's a PB by two minutes. Whew. Are you guys feeling it? I'm feeling it. That's, that's a great run right there. Let's look at that deck again. Two whirlwinds, the Akabeko cheese. We got super sustain and just tons of energy. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, close to the lead time, but what can you do? Maybe I should have stalled a bit. I wasn't checking. <laughs> 